day and welcome to today's construction class all right so for today i will be starting a series on sectional view i will be starting a series on sectional view so uh when we talk about sectional view what does it actually entail? what does it actually entail? sectional view tends to uh help us to actually know what is on the inside of an object what is on the inside of an object that is those views we can actually see from the outside those views which we actually represent with hidden details so a sectional view will help us to actually see what those hidden details are yes it will help us to see what those hidden details are so that is the uh one of the importance of sectional view all right so uh as you might if you have been following me for uh, a period of time you we actually deduce that i don't like to take things from uh the hardest part so i tend to take it from the most simplest then we now progress it from that aspect all right so and let me just keep this in if you actually follow my series on uh conversion of view from orthographic to isometric drain you will actually understand this topic better okay so orthographic projection isometric projection conversion of orthographic to isometric the sectional view then assembly that is what actually makes up the machine drain that is just it if you can know those concepts i mentioned earlier on then you are good to go with machine drain all right so this is also one of the components of machine drain sectional view especially for those who uh will be sitting who are preparing for uh wayek exams all right for wayek exams so for high school exams then you yeah, this is actually very very important or for those who are in colleges okay you might you actually come across uh, machine drain in one way or the other so i will be considering this uh, little problem on the screen okay to actually explain the concept of uh sectional view better to explain it better so right on the board i am having the front view and the plan of an object so basically this object on the screen is in what is in first angle photographic projection uh which uh this is the symbol for that okay yeah is in what is in first angle orthographic projection so how do what am i going to show you now so in this uh problem on the screen so i was given the front view and the plan so the question says i should produce the sectional front view yeah, this is a full front view this is the plan so if you were told to produce a sectional front because those of you who have actually come across questions that has to do with sectioning you'll be given two of the views and you now be told to produce maybe a full plan a sectional front view and probably an end elevation yeah probably an end elevation so if i were to produce the sectional front view now look at this object this is the front view this is the plan i was given section xx which is half uh which is a full section a full section okay i am to produce what the sectional front view so if i am to produce the sectional front view of x6 what will i show before i proceed before i proceed take a look at okay take note of this concept if your object is sectioned from the plan and the arrow is facing up like this you have to show the words the sectional front view that is the meaning if your arrow is placed on the front view then facing downward then you have to show the words the sectional plan view Take note of that if you have a section on the plan facing upward like this you have to show the what the sectional front view and if you have is placed on the front facing downward you have to show the what the sectional plan view okay now how do i show the sectional front view of this object how do i show the sectional front view of this object you know one thing about section is this one thing about section is this you only have business with the area where the object is being truncated upward so this object is section on this area here and my arrow is facing upward which means i don't have any business with this area at the bottom any longer that is the meaning i don't have any business with this area at the bottom if i am to do my section x x because the 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 the, 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 the cutting plane is cutting through this area facing upward so i only have business with this area i have no business with this area so if i am showing this area what does that imply this is going to actually be my end product let me show you then I'm going to explain it. Section XS is going to give me this. It's going to give me this view. Yes, it's going to give me this view. Then I'm going to what section this area like this. 
I may explain. Just calm down. Okay, relax. Don't be too anxious. I don't understand. I know you don't understand. Calm down. You will understand. Okay, just relax. You will understand. So if this is my section X X, how do I have this? Now let me show you how this object looks like pictorially. This is this object pictorially. Let me produce the pictorial view and see what I'm trying to explain. So, and I continue like this, like this, and we have this on the inside, like this, like this, and like this, and like this. So, this is the pictorial view of this particular object. I'm trying to explain how we come, how we arrive at excess as our sectional front view. Okay, now look at this object. So if this object is now caught, yeah, we apply a knife like this. Okay. So it was caught longitudinal. Okay, from the top to the bottom. Are you getting it now? So it was caught like this to the bottom, then towards the direction like this. It was caught like that, towards the direction like that. And this part was what taken out of it. You can see our arrow, our arrow is what is facing this direction, this direction. So if we remove this area out of it, what are you going to be left with? We'll be left with this. Take note. We'll be left with this. This is what we are going to be left with. Do you see? This is what I'm trying to say now. So if I cut it from this area like this, this area is what is out of the picture. I am left with what? With only this part of the object. So this part of the object that I'm left with, this is how it is actually going to look like. Are you following now? This is how it's going to look like. And now, which actually gives us this. So where, this, where does this section line come from? Now, section is about where, imagine, just imagine you picking a knife or a saw blade and you are trying to cut through this object so it is the area where your saw blade touches in the process of you trying to cut the object those are the areas you are going to actually show the section line on those are the areas you are going to what you are going to shade now if i am cutting through this object you will take note that my knife or my saw blade will be, what, will be floating through the gap right here the saw blade is not touching this area yet it's only touching what this edge and this edge that is it. So it is only towards what this edge like this, and what and this edge like this. Those are the two edges which the saw blade is touching. It is only what floating through the center, and that is the reason why I actually would session this edge and this edge. I believe by now you should actually understand the concept. So cutting through this area facing the top, I am what I'm going to neglect this area at the back, which was which is actually this area. Because my arrow is what is facing this area, which is what this area like this. Do you understand now? So now this area that is actually hidden on our front view before, since we've actually sliced the object into two, this area won't be what it won't be hidden any longer because now I can now see this shape on the inside. You know, can I see this shape from the outside in the first place? No, I can only know that okay, there is something inside, but it is what it is hidden. But since I actually slice this object into two, then I can see what these edges. So it will no longer be hidden like this. It will not be what be visible. Do you understand now? So that is section what section X X. That is section X X. So for section Y Y, for section Y Y, which means I am cutting from this area like this, then what facing the bottom, facing the bottom. So which means I am neglecting from this area to the top. I am concentrating on this area to the bottom. So what am I going to have? I am still going to have this. As my section Y, I am still going to have this. Okay? Then what my saw blade was touches the edges on its way. It touches the edges. So this is going to be what? My section Y, Y. You understand? Because I am putting this area and I'm what I'm facing. I am looking downwards. So I am seeing the aerial view of that object. The aerial view of that object. Do you understand now? So that is the concept behind our section. That is the concept behind section. So even if the arrow is staying like this, 
facing this direction for this particular object okay this is what i will see as, as my view even if this arrow is coming here like this facing this direction or this direction this will still be my what my answer do you understand now so all of this can you do you deduce that you can actually relate this with the concept of conversion of view you understand so if you actually understand that concept of conversion from orthography to isometric it's also going to help you while solving problems on sectioning so i am going to actually stop this here so this is the first part in the series which i will be actually uh dropping on section so as from this uh, moment onwards i will be solving questions so i'm going to be increasing the difficulty level little by little just to drive home the concept of sectioning and i believe by the time you watch through the series you will have enough confidence to tackle questions on sectioning once again my name remains Uluwa Tumbi Blessing or Laleko, the founder of MyKTech. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.